Hey everyone, I'm Ron Todd, a professional YouTuber who makes professional videos, and it's Tuesday, which means it's time for another Transformers review. So, here we go. This is WFC S40 Galaxy Upgrade Optimus Prime. He was released in the leader size class as part of Wave 3 of the War for Cybertron Siege toy line. This is going to be the second leader class figure we take a look at as part of Siege, and he won't be the last. So, yeah, he's one of the big $50 guys. Super, super cool. And, uh, yeah, we'll start with the vehicle mode. So, uh, Prime turns into a truck. It's a, a ten-wheeled truck. There's six tires on the cab. Two of them are hidden behind this little side panel. And then four are kind of on the back here. And all uh, ten of them roll freely. So you can, you know, roll out to fight the Decepticons. And uh, on the top, as you can see, there are these uh, things. These are large cannons. They can raise and kind of swivel out. It's aiming directly at the camera. And of course, you can attach the little effect pieces that come with the Battle Masters. There you go. That's what death looks like from this thing. You can do that in either one of them. Okay, that doesn't stay very well, but you should be able to put both of them in there. Or should be able to fit that in both of them. As you can see, both cannons are different lengths. Uh, this one is just one single piece, however this one is shorter, it has a silver gun which you can remove to make it shorter and then attach this to make it longer. Uh, due to the way the truck transforms into robot mode, the front bumper is removable, including the front two wheels, so if you lose these, uh, game over. Really, I don't have much to say about this truck. It's a big truck, big cannons that can kill you. Uh, yeah, but there's really not much functionality to this trailer. It basically you can't put anything in this little compartment in the back unless it's like really small. And uh, really, the only functionality-wise it has is. The cannons. The trailer isn't articulated, so uh, basically uh, the truck doesn't move independently of the trailer, so it makes turning a bit difficult. But it is a cool looking truck mode. As with uh, Springer from last week, I have to say this figure it doesn't have much functionality wise. I mean, it's functionally sound, unlike Springer, but it doesn't have much functionality wise, but aesthetically it's pretty cool. So, as with a uh, leader class shockwave we reviewed a long time ago, uh, it is actually the cab can be removed from the trailer. So to do that you just unclip these little side panels, if I can get that to, and then this whole thing just kind of pulls out. You can set that aside and here's the cab mode without any of the uh, adjustment or the uh, little uh, add-ons there. Uh, something of note is that uh, the uh, hands for robot mode are just kind of sticking out. Honestly, given how this thing has a trailer that covers that up, I don't mind it as much. I can imagine a few people not liking that, but eh, what else can you do? There's also a notable gap here between uh, here and here. I honestly thought something was missing the first time I transformed this, but no, it's just supposed to be like that. And again, I don't really mind it as much, but whatever. It's a cool enough truck mode, I guess. Front looks pretty menacing. It's got that big bumper. Two little smokestacks on the top, which you can mount effect pieces on to make it look like it's shooting flame out of the exhaust or whatever. Uh, it does have a few holes to mount the guns on the trailer. There's a coming back to the trailer. There's a few holes. One here, one here, and then same on the other side for you to mount 
uh, different weapons and then on the base truck mode it's one kind of on the roof a couple kind of on the roof and then one back here and then one here and then same on the other side so you can attach a bunch of different weapons and stuff to the uh, truck mode if you really want but uh yeah it's really all I have to say about the truck and the trailer it's good enough it's not really the best for Optimus Prime, but it, it's cool. And it's really not meant to be G1 Prime, as we'll discuss later. It's meant to be a different Optimus Prime. So, uh, yeah, it's nothing too special, but for what it is, it's a pretty cool truck. So, uh, with, with the vehicle out of the way, let's move on to the box. So here's the box. As with every uh, leader class box, it is absolutely gigantic to the point where I can't even turn it in my uh, little review area here. Uh, so I have had the camera backed up so far, you can see the, the roof there, so hopefully it's not too distracting. But uh, yeah, so this is the uh, box. It's standard stuff for a siege box, it's just gigantic. As you can see, Siege logo, Transformers logo, pretty standard stuff. On the uh, back of the inside of the box is that little rank insignia, which is mirrored right there. And then if you turn it around, it says Galaxy Upgrade Optimus Prime. And I actually got this one off of Amazon, so it says Galaxy Upgrade in a bunch of different languages. I don't know if that's just some international variant, or if that's something that the American release had as well or if there even was a difference between the American and international releases. Uh, if, there is, if there is, like if this is just like an international thing with the different languages, let me know. I think it's just because I got it off of Amazon. Uh, on the side you have the uh, standard Siege mural, same as on every Siege box, just blown up, pretty big. If you want a good look at it, here you go. Moving on to the back. Uh, as you can see, it, uh, just as with Shockwave, it's a smaller Voyager class sized robot which combines with uh, some accessories to form a larger armored robot. It's the same thing as Shockwave, there's Shockwave right there. As you can see, it transforms from the cab to the base robot mode in 13 steps. The, uh, uh, what, what? The, uh, and then the base robot or the, I guess the truck to the armored mode in 21 steps, and then the something or something in 20 steps, I don't know. This is kind of confusing. It doesn't have a cross sell for any of the other Battle Masters, so I won't be pairing up Galaxy Upgrade Prime with the uh, any of the Battle Masters here. And I'm not going to pull down Shockwave and have the two be opponents, as it's suggested here, because I can barely fit one leader class figure in here. I'm not going to try and fit two. So, uh, that's the back of the box. Gives a good look at the figure. We'll get a closer look at the robot mode here pretty soon. On to the, this side, my favorite part of these boxes, the packaging art. As with everything else on the uh, leader class box, it's blown up pretty big. As you can see there's Prime and is combined with his trailer armored mode, firing his two massive cannons. This is actually a pretty overly detailed drawing. It looks kind of out of place compared to the rest of the siege arts, but no, nah, that could just be me. There's a couple like rockets going off in the background. Looks like there's someone down there. There's a little silhouette. I don't know. And you can see it says leader class right there. Top is has the Autobot symbol and the War for Cybertron trilogy logo and stuff on the bottom if you're into that. So, that's the box. It's just a standard siege box except gigantic as you can see as it compared to my hand. It's pretty big. So, that's the box out of the way. So, now let's move on to the robot mode starting with the base robot mode. It's not combined with the trailer. So, here is the base robot mode that's not combined with the trailer. You know, the just the little feet there, it's kind of at an uneven stance. I don't know why it's like that. You see, it's... I don't know what's causing that, because this thing stands up straight on its own. Oh, there we go. Uh, so, uh, obviously I don't need to explain who Optimus Prime is. However, given how, as I said earlier, this isn't necessarily meant to be Generation 1 Optimus Prime, I'm going to explain that 
uh, once we get it combined with the trailer. But for now, let's start out with the base robot. So, in terms of articulation, he has standard articulation for a Voyager-sized figure. Bulge one to the head to move his head up, uh, up and down, and, you know, all the way around stuff. Universal joint at the shoulders to move his arm out all the way around. Bend at the elbow, swivel at the elbow, wrist swivel, waist swivel, universal joint at the hip to so move his leg out, forward and back, and that is on a ratchet joint, so it makes a clicking sound. And then bend at the knee, swivel at the thigh, and then sideways ankle articulation. So, standard stuff in terms of articulation, nothing too special. Of course, as with most Siege figures, they're pretty inconsistent on whether or not they have a wrist movement. Some of them that should don't, some of them that shouldn't do. It's weird. But, uh, yeah, so, if you take away the trailer, it's a pretty basic Voyager-sized figure. You could even probably imagine this being sold as its own figure, just at the same time. It's kind of basic for a Voyager figure. He has three guns that he can hold. Uh, in his base form. He has these two black guns. Uh, they are identical, pretty much, except that there is a left and a right. They're pretty flat, and he comes with these because this figure is a retooling of uh, Siege Ultra Magnus. The trailer is entirely new, but most of the robot mode is the same. Basically, the only differences are the colors in the chest plate slash truck chest or truck front is different. And so Ultra Magnus came with these guns, so they just kind of threw them in with Optimus Prime. As far as I'm aware, they're pretty much the same in terms of colors as Siege Ultra Magnus, so don't get them confused. The instructions call these things the uh, W30 Magnetic Inducer Launchers. You just fit them in his hand like that. And of course they can accommodate the... Uh, little effect parts. I, uh, the packaging shows it, shows them with these. I don't, uh, I don't have them on my shelf because I got Earthrise Prime and I pretty much null and voided this guy. But, uh, back when I had him on my shelf, uh, of course I put him in the armor. But when I had him outside of the armor, I didn't give him the, uh, those black guns because I honestly thought they were a little stupid looking. They're just flat and really big. So I instead gave him this, as I showed you earlier, this piece separates from the uh, cannon of the trailer, and it's, a, uh, it's this other gun, and the instructions call it the JF-15 Gravity Force Laser, and I like this because it's a lot more three-dimensional, and it's smaller, and just overall looks better in, in uh, Prime's hand, and of course you can also hit the little effect part in there if you want. So this is the gun I would display my base prime with instead of the black guns. I just leave the black guns on the uh, side of the truck and leave them there uh, for a reason I'll get to uh, later. And uh, this figure does have a lot of the things that Siege figures have, including holes all over his body. He got one on either arm there, and then one on the side of each uh, leg. And then, uh, I guess a couple on the side here, and then on the bottom of his, of his feet, so if you want to attach uh, Siege Cog's platform shoes, and you can do that. And you may be wondering why I have this figure and not the standard Siege Prime. It's because, well, A, I kind of wanted uh, something more out of my Optimus Prime, and I thought the uh, trailer armor was... A lot cooler. And two, uh, this was the design they decided to use for Optimus Prime in the 2019 IDW comics, which I'm a big IDW fan, so obviously I wanted this one over regular Siege Prime because this is the design they go they uh, went with. And this figure has basically been completely forgotten by Hasbro, so it's good that he at least was used in some sort of media. He also has the uh, little pegs for mounting the. Uh, effect parts on his body. Got one on either arm, so you can make it look like he got hit by something. And then 
one on either leg. Kind of the same color as his legs, can't see it as well, but there's one on either leg. And I'm pretty sure that's it in terms of those little pegs. So, uh, with the base robot mode kind of covered, uh, let's take a look at the uh, combined mode, shall we? And as with the uh, as with a shockwave I reviewed earlier, when I did the combination, I didn't cut away, I just I showed you it how to do it. So I'm going to do the same with uh, Siege Galaxy Upgrade Optimus Prime. So let's get the guns on the uh, trailer first, so you're going to want to pop that in there. And then I like to pop the uh, black guns in these little holes in the side like that. That's just personal preference. They don't really tell you to do that in the instructions when it I just like to do that because it looks really cool once you get it combined. So, step one, I'm going to want to separate the uh, back half from the front half. You can still roll these around if you want. We'll move this out of the way for now so we can focus on this part. This splits. These little pieces just kind of come out of here. And... These uh, little pieces here are extra shoulder pads. You attach those just kind of on top of uh, Optimus Prime's uh, shoulders there. And then these pieces are going to form boots. So you flip out these little uh, support pieces on the back. And then you just kind of slide these. Oh, and I got to collapse these. I always forget to do that. And then uh, a couple other things you got to do with uh, the base figure. Now I'm going to move the shoulder pads just so I can... There's a couple other things you got to do with the base figure. Collapse the little heel struts into the back of his feet. Pull that out. Flip the head in. Pull the torso uh, out like that so you can move this piece down and then put it back. And then you remove these. And then these attach to the holes on his arms. There are There is a uh, left and right, so it's specific to uh, which arm it goes on. You can't just pop them on whatever arm you want. And there you go. So there you have Prime ready for combination. He's headless. And th so then you can pop the uh, shoulder pieces on. You can pop them back on, I guess. And then... Then you attach these little boot pieces to the sides. They just kind of slide onto the side of his foot there. And there you go. That's the back half of the trailer combined with them. And then the uh, front half, what you do is these panels and the guns just kind of swing out. You want to fold these little two back pieces down. Flip this entire assembly around to the back and then just fold these, oh, tuck those away. This kind of goes up front, fold that out, swing the guns around to the back, and there's this little gray uh, strip on the back, and then it's just, it just clips onto that, and you flip the chest plate down, and bam, there you go, Optimus Prime in his uh, armored up mode, combined with the trailer. And he's a bit bigger. Oh yeah, and I just flip the little guns around. I leave them on the side panels of the uh, truck so they can just flip right up there. It looks cool. And so this uh, this may look familiar to you. And if it does, it's probably because uh, this figure, as I mentioned, he's not supposed to be Generation 1 Optimus Prime. See, there was this Transformers cartoon in uh, like kind of the, I don't know, mid mid-2000s called Transformers Cybertron. And this is what Optimus Prime looked like in it. He looked like that. That's what his vehicle mode looked like. So the vehicle mode is based off of that. And then the uh, base robot mode, not so much. But then when you combine him with the trailer, he had a super mode in the cartoon where you combine with this trailer and he looked almost identical to this. So I guess you could consider this your big generation's modern update of Cybertron Optimus Prime. So uh, that's what this figure is supposed to actually be not Generation 1 Prime. And, uh, yes, the uh, new head is on a ball joint. You can move that up and down. And the uh, boots do have sideways ankle articulation, so it's kind of a nice touch that added that on there. Uh, he has these little wrist gauntlets, which have holes in them that can 
you can put the little effects in there. It's on both hands, so you can do that. And then the cannons can just swing all the way around. There's little handles on the top, and they just kind of uh, pop into his uh, hands like that. And there you go, Optimus Prime is officially transformed to his weapon of mass destruction mode. And of course you can attach a little X in there and bam. And here's a side view. And uh, yeah, as you can see, he has these wings, which uh, it has uh, something I'm really not fond of on Transformers figures, and that's fake kibble. If you don't know, kibble is basically just a term for vehicle mode parts that are visible in robot mode. Sometimes it works, like kibble is great when it like contributes to the robot mode aesthetic, like if a transformer has the front of their car transform into their chest plate, but if it's just like a random piece that hangs off, it like in a random spot, it's not cool. And what's even worse is fake kibble, basically when they add these extra parts that are made to look like a part of the vehicle mode, when that's actually not what the where that part of the vehicle mode goes. Uh, if you have Core Class Starscream from Kingdom, I think he has a fake uh, jet cockpit chest. I, I'm not sure though, I don't own that figure. And if you have the uh, Siege Seekers, they have that fake cockpit chest. Or the, or the uh, real cockpit ends up kind of on their shoulders. It's just a pet peeve of mine, and this guy has a lot of it. He has these wheels on the back. These don't spin. These are not the actual vehicle mode wheels. It's just that in Transformer Cybertron, that's where they went in super mode. So they added these extra wheels up on the top to make it look like the uh, wheels went there. And these shoulder pads, the only purpose uh, they serve is to uh, basically they're just fake kibble. Uh, in the cartoon, the uh, front of the fire truck mode that Optimus Prime had, uh, they went to his shoulders, so they just put these here to make it look like that's where they went. When if you flip this up, you don't really look much like the uh, actual truck front. Of course, other than that, it's all right. Uh, I think you can actually attach the. Uh, yeah, you can attach the effects there on the bottom of his little jetpack, so you can make it look like it's kind of blasting off. And he does uh, get a few new attachment points added for the effects. I think there's one on either shoulder plate. Or shoulder whatever, shoulder pad, I don't know. There you go, I'm going to look like he got hit in the shoulder, even though that projectile looks extremely insignificant compared to the size of this figure. There's also ones kind of on his the uh, knees of his boots there. There you go. So, uh, yeah. I guess final verdicts uh, on this figure. Uh, truck mode, it's alright. Nothing too special about it. Uh, base robot mode's alright. This alright. If you're a fan of Cybertron Optimus Prime or just want an Optimus Prime figure that combines with this trailer, it's pretty good. But at the same time, I'd say uh, if you want Siege Prime, get the regular Siege Prime and not this guy. I don't have Siege Prime, but I do have uh, Siege or the uh, Walmart exclusive Nemesis Prime, which is the same mold. So yeah, I'd say if you want Siege Prime, don't get this guy, get the Voyager figure. Or if you want like a Generations Optimus Prime, get the Earthrise or Kingdom version. Because that one's vastly superior to this. But yeah, if you need an Optimus Prime figure and you don't want uh, the Voyager class Prime from Siege or the Leader class figure from Earthrise, uh, then this is your best bet. So, uh, yeah. It's a pretty niche figure, it's really just designed for Cybertron fans. But, uh, yeah, it's overall alright. But I'd say if you have Siege Prime or Earthrise Prime, it's a definite skip. So, uh, that's my review of Galaxy Upgrade Optimus Prime. If you enjoyed, you know, like, subscribe, stuff. You don't have to, but that would be cool. And uh, tune in next week as we review the uh, leader of the Wreckers, the Autobot 
Impactor. This has been Ron Todd signing off.